I've got something exciting to share, the Allstar GT68 mini PC. It's a compact powerhouse designed for both work and play. I've had the chance to test it out and in this review, we'll unbox it, dive into its design, performance, gaming capabilities and power consumption. Let's get started with unboxing. The Allstar GT68 mini PC arrives in a compact and sturdy box with little mention on the exterior. Upon breaking the seal and lifting the lid, the first thing you notice is the protective foam, followed by the user manual. You can also scan the QR code on the manual to read it digitally. After that, you'll find the Allstar GT68 mini PC itself, which feels solid and compact in size. Lastly, there's a very slim power adapter that outputs plenty of power at 19 volts, up to 6.32 amps and a maximum of 120 watts. The presentation is simple and clean. Depending on where you live, you'll receive the appropriate power plug for your country. That's everything you get in the box and the overall presentation is neat and straightforward. The first impression of the Austar GT68 mini PC is that it feels dense and well-made with a sturdy metal casting chassis. Its design gives off an esports inspired Dark Knight Warrior vibe, which is both sleek and powerful. I really appreciate the compact size and overall design of this uh, mini PC. On the front, you'll find the power button, a 3.5 millimeter headphone, an audio jack, as well as a couple of USB 3.0 ports. There's a USB 4 port on the front, which is another nice touch for fast data transfer. Additionally, there's also an Oculink port, which is a fantastic feature for those who want to connect an external graphics card. This makes the mini PC capable of running AAA AEA games at high frame rates, which is impressive for such a small unit. The ventilation is well thought out, especially on the sides where there's a wide opening for airflow. This is crucial because it ensures great ventilation helping the system stay cool while running demanding tasks. The air can easily flow in and out, keeping the components inside at optimal temperatures. The bottom of the unit features good ventilation and anti-slip rubber feet. These feet elevate the PC slightly, helping air flow to the bottom as well, ensuring that the system remains cool even during intensive use. Moving to the back, the mini PC offers two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet LAN ports, which is great for high-speed networking. There's also a vented expansion area at the top to allow heat from the graphics card and CPU to escape efficiently. The back panel includes a power input, HDMI and DP, display port for multiple display setups, as well as two more USB type A ports, one USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0. This allows you to set up a triple monitor display with support for up to 8K resolution, which is amazing for a mini PC. All in all, I really like the design of this mini PC. It's compact, functional and thoughtfully designed with plenty of ports and excellent airflow, making it a solid choice for both work and play. This mini PC is quite energy efficient. While browsing or editing videos, it consumes around 25 to 50 watts of power. During more demanding tasks like gaming or streaming, it uses about 67 to 70 watts. On average, if you're working or editing for six hours, the system will consume roughly 0.24 kilowatt hours of electricity. For six hours of gaming, that jumps to around 0.42 kilowatt hours. To put this into perspective, if your electricity rate is about $1 per kilowatt hour, which can vary depending on your country. The cost for running the system would be 24 cents USD per day for regular work or editing 42 cents USD per day for gaming. Even with six hours of daily use, your system stays under half a unit of electricity per day, making it a very energy efficient option. Let's talk about gaming. The Allstar GT68 Mini PC features the AMD Radeon 680M integrated graphics, which really boost its gaming performance. I tested a range of modern and lighter games at 1080rp, and with medium to low settings, they were very playable. 
The GPU performs well, even handling more demanding scenes without issues, competing with entry-level laptop GPUs. The Ryzen processor also makes it great for emulation, smoothly running older console games at 1080p with no lag. While it handles casual gaming and emulation out of the box, for true AAA gaming, you can connect an external GPU via the Oculink port. I already own two other mini PCs, and when I compare their sizes to the Austar GT68 mini PC, I can say this one is noticeably more compact. The GT68's metal casting chassis gives it a premium, sturdy feel that stands out. As for performance, the Wi-Fi speed is impressive. It supports Wi-Fi 7, which is a significant upgrade over Wi-Fi 6. In fact, it boosts speeds by 48% compared to Wi-Fi 6, reaching multi-gigabit speeds of up to 5.8 gigabits per second. This provides an ultra-fast, stable connection with low latency, even when I have multiple devices connected to the network at home. It's definitely a standout feature for anyone who needs reliable wireless performance. The good news is that the storage is fully upgradable. Accessing the internals isn't overly complicated. Simply remove the bottom panel and you'll see the cooling fan at the top. Once you remove the fan, you can access the storage slots. You will see ample space for upgrading your M2 SSDs, allowing you to significantly expand your storage capacity. The memory is soldered directly to the motherboard and therefore cannot be upgraded or replaced later. This permanent connection means you must choose the right memory model wisely at the time of purchase. Available options are typically 16GB or 32GB. The Allstar GT68 mini PC comes with Windows 11 pre-installed, offering a secure and modern out-of-box experience and the boot up time is impressively fast thanks to its high speed storage. Inside this pocket sized powerhouse is driven by the AMD Ryzen 7P06850H processor, a formidable 8 core 16 thread chip. It features the powerful integrated Radeon 680M graphics, which is based on AMD's RDNA2 architecture. This combination of processing and graphics muscle ensures smooth performance for everything from daily tasks to demanding gaming when paired with the Oculink port. Cinebench R23 shows the AMD Ryzen 7PR06850H is incredibly powerful, scoring 12,408 multi-core points, which means it handles professional video editing and heavy multitasking like a full-size desktop in 3D Mark Time Spy, the integrated AMD Radeon graphics achieved 2504, confirming this mini PC is more than capable of handling modern esports and casual 3D gaming at 1080p resolutions. The 3D Mark Fire Strike score of 6458 highlights the system's strong efficiency, ensuring incredibly smooth performance across a huge library of older titles and all competitive games. Finally, the NVMe SSD is lightning fast, with sequential speeds over 3400 megabytes per second, guaranteeing that Windows applications and large files load instantaneously for a truly responsive experience. This mini PC offers impressive performance in a compact design, perfect for both work and play. With Wi-Fi 7 solid power efficiency, and the option to upgrade storage. It's a great choice for those looking for a powerful, portable machine. If you want a compact yet powerful PC, check out the link in the description. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.